<laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Happy Room. My name is Weasel, and this is possibly the last episode of this game. Given that we unlocked all the things we can unlock in terms of weapons, we are only left with these challenges up there. And I would love to unlock them, just, you know, for the heck of it, because I can. Um, up here, we see what we need to do. Flight is normal. Keep 10 monsters in zero gravity for 30 seconds. That's an odd one, but I'm pretty sure we can do it. First thing we do is we're going to take all of these guys here. All of these. So we have plenty of them. And then we're going to use the black holes. Because they are fantastic. And then the next thing is we're going to place zero gravity everywhere. And hopefully with this we're going to have some luck. I don't know if zero gravity counts as this, but we'll see. All right. The monsters are in zero gravity, and it stopped. Damn you. Damn you, science. Okay, what we need to do, I just realized, is these things get don't get triggered by the uh, monsters. So, that doesn't work. What I'll do instead is... I will... They only need to be kept in zero gravity. I will put a teleport underneath and above my little uh, poor dummy. Dummy number... Must be over 100 now, but... For this recording, it's 80. And he goes through here. And I hope just keeping that up. Damn it. I think I just need to have him fly around the room more and just distribute those more because they all get triggered independently, which is a bummer, actually. It's kind of kind of annoying. That's okay. That's fine. We'll, we'll work with this. As we've worked with so many things before. Okay, these jumping platforms should keep things alive fairly long. But we don't want to use them all up at the same time, so I'll put stakes everywhere to slow down, basically, uh, him triggering this stuff. Alright, let's do this. Ten monsters in zero gravity for a long ass time. Okay, trigger the zero gravity ones. I'm gonna speed this up a bit. Oh, they need to be kept in zero gravity for that long? Are you for real? They need to be kept for its zero gravity perpetually? Holy moly. This is gonna be hard. I mean, I guess it works if I go along it like this. I just hope I have enough zero gravity things left to keep it going for 30 seconds. Uh, because it doesn't really look like I do. Nope. Didn't, didn't do long enough. Okay, I need more zero gravity things. Can't possibly run out of those. That would be a bad time. Okay, let's let's try that again. There's so much zero gravity running. That's, ah, damn it! Didn't keep it in there long enough. I need to put these things even closer. Believe it or not, they need to be even closer. Maybe we can upgrade the zero gravity because I remember we have an upgrade coin. Miscellaneous zero gravity works two times longer. Well, that that makes it way easier. There you go. Now let's speed this up. And looking good. Our guy's just taking a little bit of damage. The monsters are probably having the time of their life. They're getting to enjoy zero gravity and get to eat something. It's basically like space travel with in-house flight. Damn it! That didn't work either. Friggin' monsters, you're ruining my vibe. This is difficult. Okay, now I'm just squeezing 10 monsters somewhere between the zero gravity. Because zero gravity works across the whole game. Alright. Let's try this again. Please work. Ugh. Come on, make it happen. Make it happen, baby. And 30 seconds. Yes. Flight is normal. Dummy flies clockwise three times around the block with four mini lasers. What? Now we're getting interesting. Now, now this is going to be an interesting one. Okay, this is this one is done. This is done, Zarina. Okay, we need a block. Step one, block. Then we need it with four mini lasers. Okay. Here are... Oh, wait. Around the block with four mini lasers. Oh, wait a second. Can I just, you know, connect them like this? Okay, so this is set up, which is nice. Now we just need to go around it, which shouldn't be too hard, given that we have rockets in our arsenal. So I'm gonna put a big rocket here. Clockwise is... Oh, this way. Never mind. This needs to go up. 
Then this one needs to go this way. And then this way. Yes, it, it, it became a proper puzzle game right here. Sweet. Okay. That might already be enough. I don't know, flying counts? Oh, right. Uh, I'm going to need to add some saws to make sure he actually makes it to his initial departure rocket. Ah, oh, no, damn it. Now he fell over the other way. Great job. Okay, now. Now we do this. Right. Okay, laser's still burning. Going up. Can that be considered flying? Please let that count. Yes, it actually counts. And he needs to do it three times. I don't know if the rockets are gonna last long enough. We'll see. Nope, they don't last long enough. That's a bummer. That's a problem. Okay, no. Again, no problem that I can solve because I can just use more rockets. And hope, hope that it triggers it properly. Actually, I'm not gonna need those because he's just gonna fall down there and hopefully fly over. You know, just for security measures, I'm gonna add a few more rockets. All right. Go and fly over. Fantastic. This is like the worst travel agency ever. Why is he... Damn it, he explodes like this, which is a thing that I don't want. I do not want this. So I'm going to put some spikes here to stop that from happening. So he doesn't shoot past and falls down onto the rockets again. Hopefully. Hopefully. Cool, that didn't work. All right, up, up we go. This didn't do the trick at all. Okay, this is the problem. I had rockets there before. So, there you go. That's what I like to see. Go around the block one more time. Just one more time. Does that count? Yes, dummy flies clockwise three times around the block. Did it! Did it. Next one. I'm on a roll. Burn a dummy down in the water, then freeze him in another one. Freeze him. Oh, in water? Okay. I'm going to need piranhas, then. Wherever they are. There they are. I'm going to take a block. And what one's to burn in the water? So, I guess I'm going to use a fire gun over here. He falls in. He gets burned in there. Then I'm going to put a minigun over here that will hopefully propel him out of there into the next piranha, th piranha thing. And in here he gets frozen with... Where is it? Where's ice? Ice, ice baby. Ice gun. With the ice guns. That should do it. Let's see. He gets burnt in one and then frozen in another. Damn it. Okay, that was maybe a little bit premature. Okay, burnt in one. Then freeze him in another. This should just work. It's basically like a conveyor belt to make the most fucked up cocktail in the world. Oh, okay. I need to fire a gun. I forgot about that. Sorry about that. Give me my block. Give me my block. Perfect. Cool. We got our fire gun. He's burnt in one place now. And he's clearly not getting brought over to the other, which is a bummer. Fine. Shotgun. And then frozen another. Ta-da! We have a really fucked up cocktail. Yay! Keep a dummy in the gravity ray for seven seconds. Um, easy peasy, I want to say. Just use a black hole, a block, and the gravity gun. Maybe. Let's see. Could work. I don't know how long the black hole lasts. Nope, doesn't last that long. Does it need to be a single gravity ray? Because otherwise... Well, maybe it doesn't need to be in a single one. Maybe it can be in several ones. So I'm just going to bring him over. And hopefully keep him in here. And over there. More gravity ray. Yay! That worked great. That looks really adorable when he floats around like this. Keep the dummy 50 seconds in an ice and freeze rain. Ray. What? Ice and freeze ray? Isn't that just the... Ice gun? I assume it is. It actually is not. It does it doesn't count. Keep the dummy 50 seconds in an ice. And freeze ray. Is there maybe a different thing? Makes frost gun work longer and better. Okay. Is it now a freeze gun? Ice gun? Nope, it doesn't count. 
Freeze Ray. I didn't even know I had a thing like that. But I don't. I don't have a Freeze Ray. Do I need to upgrade that? Do I need to unlock it? Ooh, I want to upgrade the Death Ray. Just for good measure. Well, maybe I need to try a different thing right now. Okay, how about we try the X Spike Saw thing? Which, with my idea, is he's going to fall onto the saw, then a spike is going to hit him before the saw hits him and we get it. X. Shit, that didn't work. Damn it! Throws him over there. He gets spiked. And then he falls into the saw. Damn you! Look at that. X works, then sp Oh, spikes! It's the individual spikes. My bad. That makes sense now, I guess. You just gotta know which ones are the right one. Spikes and then damn it. Doesn't work either. Doesn't does it doesn't consider it as a as a as a as a win condition, which is a bummer. I think I'm doing this right. X, spike, saw. It says spikes. These are clearly spikes. Does that have to happen at the same time, maybe? Maybe 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 it does. Maybe it does. Let's 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 try a really weird combination of things. All right, he gets thrown over there. I don't know what made it different this time. Yay! We like melee weapons. I got it. All these things unlocked. That's great. Split a dummy from both walls by a plasma cannon. Hit a dummy with a stake eight times while he is in water. Okay, means we're gonna need piranhas. We're gonna need some. Probably going to need some zero gravity or something. Maybe. Uh, is it a single stake? Or is it multiple stakes? Because I, I can probably do multiple stakes. Let's see. One. Trois. Tres. Four. Four. And Bogota. Did it! Hydrotherapeutic procedures. Nice! Rockets fly 200 meters in total. How how even? What kind of rockets? Just regular rockets? I mean, let's see. One of them is gonna trigger. Okay, it's just gonna take it a while. But we're just gonna need a whole bunch of rocket launchers. Just a whole bunch of them. Our good friend the rocket launcher comes back. Oh, we're gonna make so much money. Okay, let's hope that this does the trick. By just having them fly like this. Yeah, that'll do. <laughs> the chickens are the best part about this, I feel. Oh, rocket mace? Oh, the rocket to shoot him into a mace, I guess. That's interesting. Okay, that's not a problem. Let's let's get that one next. Rocket into a mace. Just hop. All oh, right, he needs to get shot into a maze. That shouldn't be too difficult as soon as he flies around. I'm gonna put that in the corner here. And kaboom! Okay, maybe this maze needs to go somewhere else. Maybe I just need some more mazes everywhere. Come on, shoot him into shoot him into a maze. I've seen you do it before. Oh, now you're shy. Now now you don't want to do it. Now when everyone's watching, you don't want to do it. You Come on. Brosef, fine. I need anti I need the zero gravity thing. Get that poor sucker into one of the maces. Okay, may maybe I need a few less rockets and a few more maces. How how about that? I I never think personally that m less maces is the answer, but I'm willing to go with the empiric evidence that we collected. There you go, rocket mace, nailed it. Okay, next step: plasma gun, teleporter on the ceiling. I'm pretty sure it has to go there. This is just supposed to be an error. So error. Arrow, not error. Okay, so here's the teleporter, and we're gonna need the plasma gun. That's gonna be a tricky one. Because I can't put plasma guns anywhere because I don't I I can't put them on the ceiling. What if I use a block? Yeah, use all four, that's fine. And then 
Yay, it worked! <laughs> Teleport a big rocket. Who said you can't do that? Good question. I did not say such a thing. Let's get a big rocket going and solve that mystery once and for all. And... That didn't work. Well, I gotta move this down a bit. Went a little bit too high. And... Nailed it! That's ridiculous that this works. I I'm gonna have to see this if this just keeps going continuously and never stops. I feel it. Okay, eventually it explodes. Doesn't matter, we got the thing. Leave a piece of dummy on the big rocket. Nah, next time. 30 second disco party. How, how does one do a 30 second disco party? Oh, I, I just need a disco ball. It's, it's all I need. Oh, it needs to be triggered. Okay. Which somewhat makes sense that it needs to be triggered. Otherwise, this would be a little bit easy. Just place a uh, disco ball anywhere and you're good. All right. Do it. Disco for me like it's 1987. I don't know. People didn't disco at night. Did they? I honestly don't know. But we're having a party and I'm happy about that. Oh no, don't stop, don't- Damn it! It stopped the party. <sighs> Why would you do that? Okay, some zero gravity to keep him in the air longer. <laughs> this amuses me greatly when he just gets flung against another jumping platform, like, continuously. That makes us really great. And 30 second disco party done! It's not a joke, it's scientific research. Deal fire, lightning, piranha, and acid damage while a dummy is flying on a big rocket. Easy. Maybe. Deal fire, light, okay. Light, lightning is easy. Lightning you do with Tesla, done. Piranha you do, you know, by just, you know, freaking piranha. The rocket, we need to put him on the rocket. Rocket, we do that by making him fall onto one. That makes it easy for us. Uh, let me, while I'm at it, actually just Put the two there. Then acid and fire. That's also easy. I'm just gonna need an acid gun. And I need a fire gun, which I'm going to put on the block. That's a beautiful combination of things. Hmm. Look what technology brought us. Do this. Nailed it! <laughs> Hit a dummy with 10 rockets while he's flying on a big one. Nah, it's easy, easy as well. I think at least. Especially if you have the upgrade to put him on the ceiling and on the walls. Then this should do just fine. I hope, I hope it works. Ah, it's a little tricky actually. We might have to slow him down somehow and I don't know how to slow down someone on a rocket. Oh, I think I think I need to know what we need to do. I know what we need to do. We're going to make use of a thing that we learned not too long ago, actually. We're going to use a teleport. And then we're going to make him fly for everything, and the rockets are just going to do the rest. I don't know how long this is going to last, but it should be enough for 10. All right, go, my friend. To infinity and beyond. Nice. Actually, it keeps going. It keeps going, never stopping. Beautiful! <laughs> oh, that's great. Man, there's so many more things to solve. Ten hits by a jumper while a dummy is in the death ray. Leave a piece of dummy on the big rocket. Keep him frozen for 15 seconds in an ice and freeze ray, which I don't know how to do. But the dummy bow from walls with plasma cannon sounds interesting. All right, guys, let me know. Leave a like. If you want to see more, leave a like and let me know in the comments. I'm not, I don't want to whore out. I really, I'm, I'm, I'm serious. I need you to know in this case if I should continue making more episodes. I'm going to stop for now. And you should get the game yourself and play it and, you know, try to unlock all of these because it's a fun game. And I think the developer should, you know, get some sales from that.
Um, it's only five bucks. It's a good game. In any case, please let me know if you guys would like me to see more of the other ones. You've got an idea now how it is. It's a little bit different because we're trying to uh, solve the different puzzles. In any case, thanks so much for watching. I'm Weasel. I'm out and I hope to see you around. Bye-bye.